also shared with the NCID, uh, the national uh, center that confirms these things. So there isn't really a possibility of making these things up. EFF Twane Chairperson Obakeng Ramabotu says the municipality is liable for all the deaths in Hammanskwal. Tabi Sokoba, Eyewitness News, Twane. Former Gauteng Premier David Makura has denied claims he decided to cut ties with Life ACD Meni, leading to the deaths of 144 mental health patients. Makura has testified at the Life ACD Meni inquiry. He responded to accusations that his budget committee ordered the health department to reduce the costs, including cancelling a contract with a private psychiatric hospital. Outside implementing those cost containment measures by everybody, there was no PBC decision to deal with uh, cutting costs from any any department. The PBC would, would be in no position to take a decision on a contract. Uh, it is not something the PBC has authority on. And consumers are expected to feel some reprieve with inflation cooling from 7.1% to 6.8% in April. Statistics South Africa released the figures this afternoon. A fine day in store for Gauteng tomorrow. Joburg dropping to an overnight low of 7 degrees, peaking at 25, 20, 10 and 26 for Inaheng 6 and 26 as well. Lerato Hufala, Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News on 947. For more, click ewn.co.za. You may begin to feel anxious or excited. Honest, deliberate, engaging, uncensored. High dosage administration can cause adverse reactions. And most importantly, independent in mind. administration can cause adverse reactions and most importantly independent in mind and execution this is a normal response are you ready for our sports worldwide musanya dama is my guest uh, he is the coach of swallows football club starting the new season as the head coach of swallows look <laughs> uh, yeah no, no, no. Uh, nothing has been agreed uh, at the moment to be honest with you but yeah, uh, yeah. From from what I've been uh, talking uh, with the chairman, he he's been saying that. So he's verbally said to you, he wants you to start preseason. Verbally, he has said that. Verbally, yeah. Marawa Sports Worldwide. Can you summarize? I have described it as a life changing uh, opportunity. You know, you know, two clubs were emphasizing that I was not ready. I was still young at that age. And do you still remember those clubs that said you were too young? It was uh, Amazulu, uh, Kaiser Chiefs. And how old were you then? I was 22. Hashtag MSW. All right, so the chairman of Swallows Football Club is on the line. David Mokasha, firstly, congratulations on a top eight finish. Well, I must thank uh, Coach Musa and his technical team. They did the hard work. We didn't want to go through what we went through last season, um, go through playoffs. You know, people underestimate the playoffs. I was fatigued at game number three and I was not even playing. So I could just imagine what the players and the technical staff were going through. So it's not something I wish for anyone, but unfortunately somebody has to go to playoffs. I just didn't want it to be us. Robert Marawa, live on 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. Hashtag MSW. Oh, man, what an explosion. What an explosive start to the show. If you are not here, if you're not in and around uh, 
you know, sent. And the, the, the beautiful thing is that we just take a peek outside the window and the, you know, the stock exchange is there. It's telling us what our futures look like. It tells us exactly uh, maybe what's the future of Mamelodi Sundowns as far as, you know, the Jobic Stock Exchange is concerned. The next 10 years, is it worth investing in? Because at the rate that they're going, trust me, hmm. You could put a couple of pounds in there and get your return and investment nice and early. And that is why they've had the kind of welcome that only true champions, as you can see right behind me. Uh, Coach, I'm sure you haven't seen this before. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is the royal welcome here on 947. This is how we do it right here on Prime Media. Uh, thanks to everybody that's been Sure, since they arrived, it's been boombox, it's been excitement, it's been champagne popping, I see balloons, I see cakes outside. And that is how we roll out the pink carpet uh, to the champions. And the only way that you can be a part of it is if you go live on YouTube right now. Go YouTube, Joburg947 forward slash, and you'll get every little bit of what's going on in studio live. Now, let me take you back. Because with every story, it's got to start somewhere. Well over a decade of dominance in domestic football. And it certainly goes without saying that Mamelodi Sundowns are in a class of their own. With an incredible hunger. I mean, you look at a solid team effort, exceptional squad depth, a well-balanced blend of experienced veterans, as well as a couple of emerging youngsters. Masanda Wana consistently showcasing their ability to maintain a high level of performance throughout the entire season. And I'm talking about consistency here. So this depth that we talk about has been so crucial in coping. Whenever they've got injuries, they've got cover. Suspensions, they've got cover. The demands of competing in multiple competitions at the same time. And I think the solid, solid investment in youth, whether it's on and off the pitch, has been exemplary. Their commitment to nurturing young, talented players such as Keshe Smailula, youthful, yet experienced Gaffa in Rolani Mkwena. Their focus on long-term sustainability also bodes well for the future. But you know what? Enough talk, man. Because the coach is here, the players are here, Sipombule, I see him, Cassius is here. Kulisa Mudao is also here. These aren't just Sundown's players. These are our Bafana Bafana players as well. And we've got to compliment them, congratulate them for being called up because that's the job of a national coach to see who and what he needs. Uh, but firstly, though, because uh, they always say, uh -huh. you know, and uh -huh. Abatala doesn't mean the dull people. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Coach, yet again, congratulations. A milestone has been achieved. Big Rob, um, thanks for the the, the great uh, celebratory welcome. Yes. Um, you do it like no other, so uh, incredible to experience it once again. Um, good evening to your listeners. Good evening to the Masandawana family. And um, yeah, incredible, incredible to be part of this of this team. Incredible to be part of this milestone. Uh, and uh, it's uh, an extreme privilege and honor to sit here as uh, as the head coach of uh, the the champions once again. Does it ever sink in? Because around about 1 a.m., Coach Rolani Mgwena is going through on Instagram and sharing with us words of Pep Guardiola. <laughs> and then in, infused with what Pep is saying are the visuals of sundowns and exactly what he's saying gets done. Uh, am I already tickling you in <laughs> because that, that's what it is i think we all suffer from the same bug sleep is a, an enemy yeah. because of the hard work that has to be put in yeah um uh it's a it has to sink in because um there's a lot of there's a lot of hard work and, and effort is it's not a handout yeah uh we've we've invested a lot of hours we've put in a lot of uh, mileage uh, we've improved the team from from a playing personality perspective 
we've improved the players yeah. within the team. We've improved uh, the profile in terms of the age. We've introduced quite a lot of youngsters. Uh, but at the same time, we've maintained consistency over 30 games. And uh, we've done it uh, better than uh, we probably would have anticipated. Yeah. Uh, with all the suspensions, the injuries, uh, and um, many of the players have done incredible work to to put the club where it is. And and uh, as I said to, to you many a times, it's just uh, uh, an extreme privilege and honor to 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 be this uh, team's coach. And uh, we've got uh, a long way to go, and um, we've just got to continue. And continue working hard and continue to to earn our stripes and continue to to win many many more games and winning more <laughs> games means you, you come with the with the players here who some of them are winning this for the very first time i'm not going to call them out by name they yeah. know they're guilty as charged they know who they are <laughs> they've been working so hard but uh, there's been nothing simple let me start off with you baba good to see you hey brother Good, good, good. F firstly, congratulations, man. Uh, I would say finally. Yeah, finally. It's the trophy that I've been waiting for also. Yeah. And when I came here to Sundowns, I knew that Sundowns is the team that uh, competing for every trophy that they played for. And they've been dominating also in uh, the STV Premiership. So I think, uh, as I said, on the on on live after the game when yeah. we won when we were lifting I said I'm feeling scrumptious. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the feeling was amazing, brother. What does it feel like to be scrumptious? <laughs> scrumptious. <-y. laughs> Please give us this detail here because as a human being it's the, it's a, it's a feeling that you can't even explain sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you been scrumptious all your life or was no, it just yeah. when, I, was you won the league long ago? So was it on the day after the Maritzburg United game where you felt okay? You know what? Now this is it. Trophy is coming our way. I think every time when I get into my house, I see the medal. That feeling comes back. Is it? Yeah. Consciously. Scru yeah. Scru <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think I think he's just nicknamed himself <laughs> Upra Scrumshi. <laughs> what is Scrumshi? Scrumshi. <laughs> but I mean, your your journey and where you are, and mm -hmm. and, and and feeling that way, and it must be such a relief for the man sitting directly across me, which is the coach. Uh, because where many would say, ah, they'd written you off, he had a belief. In fact, I remember an interview when he came through when he was still in the, in the Houghton Studios and talked about you in your absence, so forgive us. Mm -hmm. You know, we just like to talk about people who are great. And I mean, he said something even then, and he said, people don't know, they don't realize and have no clue of what potential this man has. Write him off at your own peril. Those were his words to me. And I was listening and I said, wow, I look forward to seeing you on the field. And every time I've seen you on the field, I'm like reminded of those words. What did it take for you to really dig deep and say, yes, in Mavid, you guys haven't seen the best of me yet. I, think I know, bro. what yeah. happens is uh, you, you don't find a lot of people who believe in, in you, like maybe for me. Yeah. I don't find you don't find a lot of people who believe in me like the way he does. Sure. Because I know every time when I do something wrong, I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna get something from him. He's either gonna tell me that I can do better than this, or why why couldn't you have done that and that and that? So I think he pushes me every day, and then uh, he makes me realize how great I am. And uh, sometimes, as you said, now you couldn't even see even me. Maybe sometimes yeah. I'm not aware of the things that I can do, but. Uh, with the work that he's doing, uh, the corrections that we're doing, everything, uh, he will just call you in the evening and tell you that, ah, did you watch this game? Did this happen and happen and happen? And then uh, it will be up to you whether you listen to him or you take it uh, on the other side. Yeah. But I think uh, for me, I've been listening to him and uh, I've been getting the advices that I need from him. Just one word answer before I go to the man sitting next to you. Have we seen the best of you yet? Nope. At all. No. I love that. It's a highlight. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. Say no more. <laughs> Kulisobo Dao's there right next to you. I mean, he's somebody who, I mean, I, 
your story as well. Should I remind them of what was <laughs> happening in the other club? Should I remind them? You were a card collector. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. So when I remind you of that, and I try and put that into perspective, from being a card collector to being a Sundowns champion to being a Bafana Bafana player, I yeah. <laughs> Firstly, congratulations on all of those things that I've just mentioned. But how does it make you feel? Uh, thank you, bro, Rob. Ew, I don't even know where to start because, like, I was going through the most down day, you know, yes. the previous team. But I think uh, since I came to Sundowns, a lot of things have changed. The mentality. Um, a lot of things have changed, to be honest, because... Uh, I remember when I was playing that side. Yeah, it was it was it was tough for me because like uh, I was going through a lot, but uh, yeah. people didn't know about that. Like personally, personally, yeah. you know, at Black Leopards, at Black Leopards, mm -hmm. yeah. But um, when I get here, things started getting better, and then that's when I started uh, getting fine. Uh, without disclosing too much, but just to get an idea. Well, sometimes it's important for people to understand your journey. <coughs> nah. What, what, like, for example, what was it that you were going through that you were struggling with that you couldn't find somebody to help you out of that dark hole? Actually, that one is too personal. I can't, it's I can't, hectic, no? I can't talk about it now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, no, I understand. But how, how quickly then did Coach Rolani was able then to get into your mind? Because to get anywhere, like Sipo was saying, we haven't seen the best out of him. We probably haven't seen the best out of you. Yeah. But how 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 soon did Coach Rolani get into you to make you understand his vision and for his vision to then explode into your mind? I think it was the first person who came to me uh, when I come to Sundowns, and then you told me that uh, I believe in you, and mm -hmm. I think you can play in this team. And then uh, I think he pushes me every 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 day, yeah. every single training session, even when. We do fight. We do fight a lot, which is Every, a good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying it's, it's a wrong thing. <laughs> it's so a it's, good it's thing. a beautiful thing. Yeah, I'm sure he good. appreciates it as well. Yeah, we we do fight a lot. Yeah. Uh, even even today we were fighting. What are you <laughs> fighting <laughs> about <laughs> now? Our, our own <laughs> things. Our <laughs> own things. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no even things. today yeah. we had a fight. Yeah. What was the fight about? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Now I've got one on ones with all the players, and some I, I had a one on one with Keshas today. Uh, it's, it's emotional, but we spoke about a lot of things the yeah. past, the present, the future. Yeah, Sela, we had a one on one, so Sipo, I had a one on one with him yesterday. We had a very extensive talk, but. What are you fighting about, Coach? I, I enjoy the fights, actually. Sometimes to, today, today, so, what are you fighting about? Do, do you know, sometimes they actually play better when they're upset with me. <laughs> Yeah, but that's, true. that's true. Yeah. So yeah. you take it out on the field. Yeah. But with, with him in mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's the sound of champions. Uh, everybody listening to us. You're live on 947. We're equally live um, on Voma FM, Rise FM, and on Soweto Live. You can catch us on the YouTube channel live and do post your comments right there. It is the celebration of champions. Marawa Sports Worldwide Live In three, two, one. on 947 Vuma FM, Rise FM and Soweto Live Hashtag MSW Live. Hashtag MSW. 
Are you looking to buy, sell or trade in your car online? Type www.motors.cars into your web browser, that's M-O-T-U-S and you'll be transported to a one-stop car shop. With thousands of new and used cars from more than 300 dealerships across the country, you'll find everything you are looking for. Visit us at www.motors.cars. Motors.cars. You click, we call. Get all the data you need to do the things you love with this Red Hot deal from Vodacom. Get a massive 250 gigs on a SIM-only data plan for only 249 Rand per month over 24 months and save 1,200 Rand. Plus, add only 50 Rand per month and you'll get a home router to keep you connected. Miss it, miss out. T's and C's apply. Feather together. Vodacom. This is Makota Enterprises. We have a tax emergency. This is SARS. We read you loud and clear. How can we help you? Our annual reconciliation declarations are due and we don't know where to start. Why worry? SARS has made it easy for you to submit on time. Using our easy file or e-filing, you can declare quickly and accurately. The May 31st deadline is approaching, so act now to avoid a crisis. With SARS, you can declare accurately online. Visit sars.gov.za. Your tax matters. SARS at your service. Join the experts in appliances and electronics. Expert Diamond Corner for their Go Gold Weekend. Cooking demos, games and prizes and big savings. Like 30% off selected Bosch and Siemens fridges, dishwashers, coffee machines and more. Save and do good by raising funds for CHOC, the Childhood Cancer Foundation. This weekend at Woodmead Retail Park opposite Woolworths. For more info, go to expertdiamondcorner.co.za. Deal or No Deal is more than just a game show that everyone talks about. It's a game show that transforms the lives of everyday South Africans. To date, we celebrate more than 1 million rand worth of cash prizes that Deal or No Deal has helped to change lives. You too could win up to 250,000 rand in cash with me, Gadeiro. Simply SMS the word PLAY to 43066. Standard SMS rates apply. Catch Deal or No Deal on SABC1 at 7.30pm and on SABC3 at 5.30pm every weekday. Deal or No Deal is sponsored by Lotto Star. Lotto Star is licensed by the Impomalanga Economic Regulator. No under 18s. National Responsible Gambling Program. 0800 006 008. T's and C's apply. All games are fixed on betting events. At Pick and Pay, you could win your shopping free. Plus, get 900 gram Bacoma Wheat Bix for only 49 Rand 99 when you swipe. And assorted 200 gram Nescafe Gold Instant Coffee for only 119 Rand 99 when you swipe. Don't miss out on your chance to win. Only at Pick and Pay. Valid 22 May to 6 June while stocks last. T's and C's apply. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. No favors. What I need. No Senyadama is my guest. Uh, he is the coach of Solos Football Club. As Solos Football Club, you knew what you needed to do. You were playing against a team that if you beat, they get relegated. W- what was that motivation? Was it about the top eight? What were you saying to the players to make them you know, not to feel sorry? I told, uh, told the players straightforward that uh, we're not doing any, anyone any favors, you know. And we needed to cement our place in the top eight. You know, Gallants were obviously playing a game of their lives here. Yeah. We score goal, we, we close shot. But I just think the 3-0 hiding you got from Stellenbosch things turned around for you it was one of those games where even if we were giving, given another 45 minutes we were not going to score everything lined up for the taking and what I need from them no favor hashtag MSW hashtag MSW Yeah, we should have got the Guijo squad to perform this one live, I'm telling you, in studio. If you're just joining us, it is hashtag Marawa Sports Worldwide, live on 947 for my fam, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live, also live on YouTube, on the YouTube channel. So you can only imagine uh, social media going absolutely crazy. Tim Ram says, you've shown incredible skill and determination throughout the season and you deserve to be champions of the DSTV Premiership. Teams really felt you. Congratulations. This is to the entire team. 
Um, and I see that nickname has uh, caught fire as well. Uh, Usipo Papasiche says that Sipo scrumptiously mbule. Hey, Tarob, somebody got nicknamed here today. Fully agree, man. Fully agree. If you're just tuning on your dial, it is Rulani Mkwena, the Mamelodi Sundowns head coach. Sipo Mbule, Sundowns midfielder. Cassius Mailula, uh, the right winger. Or maybe you can tell us other positions that he can play, including goalkeeper. Who knows? Kuliso Mudao, the defender, also here with us. Cassius, Ooh. we haven't said a word to you, sir. Welcome to the show, firstly, and congratulations on being a champion. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for having us and for, for a wonderful welcome. Yeah. It's been a great welcome. I think you were the first one to arrive here. Um, and, and for that, we're just going to quickly try and sort that microphone out uh, so that we can get you loud and clear. Uh, Bulls, I know you, you're pretending to be soft spoken, but I've heard you on the field, man, no. making the biggest noise, right? I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> you don't? No. 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 <coughs> I, I know we're talking about the league, but we're all human beings, and we, you, you were like one of the most emotional people over, over the weekend. It's, it's taken a bit of time for everybody. Um, what was going through your mind when that happened and you realized that your journey in the CAF Champions League was over? Uh, I think I was too emotional, you know. Yeah. Uh, I knew from day one that this is what I want. This is a dream that I always wanted, you know, this is something that I wanted to achieve and it would actually, I would have actually loved it to, to be, to be in the final and actually win it in my first season with the first team and actually to even lift the trophy with Temba Zwan Mshiji because yeah. it's one of the things that I, I, I said like in 2016 that I, I, I want to do one day, you know, but for me, I don't think it's, it's over, you know. Because uh, I think I've learned a lot uh, in this in this competition, and yeah, I think it's one of those days where it happens in football that you have to experience such things and to to learn, you know. Because I don't think that I've I've lost in that game, you know. Yeah. I think that was a very expensive experience, you know. I think that you don't you don't buy that experience, and to experience such it was it was really terrible and. Uh, I think it took me time to actually realize that we're actually out. Because even after the w final whistle, I was like, okay, are guys going to the extra time? I'm like, and then Abuki told me, no, it's it's our way it goes. You know? That's why mm. I actually was so, so emotional and it hurt mm. me deep because I believed that if, if we were going to the extra time, I don't think they were going to have a chance. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. That's what I guess it is what it is, and if there was uniformity of rules like we do have in UEFA Champions League, for example, where they see that there is no need for things <coughs> like away goals, fight until the end is what it is. But when, when did you, I mean, given the amount of tears you shared on the time and just mentally how away from it you were, how long did it take for you to almost come back to normal? I know probably all of you are not back to normal yet. But to try and breathe again and try and restart the engine. I think uh, for me, it took me it took me actually for the eight hours to yeah to actually start to accept. After my mother and the coach called me and talked to me and tried to calm me down, you know, and I think that's when I started to realize that such things happen, you know, and yeah, it has not been easy to be honest. But yeah, I think thanks to the coach mm -hmm. and other coaches that actually called me to, to check up on me, even my teammates, yeah, and to tell me that uh, it's it's not over, you know, such things happen. You're still young, you still have a chance to, to showcase your talent and to win more trophies. So yeah. Because there's always a celebration. I mean, here you are today celebrating a league victory. Here you are. I mean, you were taking us by surprise. You're almost like the, the golden boot winner. You're almost <laughs> like the top goal scorer for the season. But still, the coach will explain to us later on, though, what was it that he was able to work in terms of getting you to be in, 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 in goal scoring areas as often as you did and supply assist and get the goals in the back of the net. You're celebrating that. You're celebrating a call-up for Bafana Bafana. So in the end, they, it's not all lost, is it? 
Yeah, I think. Uh, oh, <laughs> I don't know even where to start because yeah. this guy, this guy is a genius. This guy is is one of the best coaches that I've actually met for me because. I think I think what he does with us at the field uh, it's, it's amazing because he always tells us to to focus on the little details mm. and I think that that is why I've always been in good positions to score goals and mm. to to actually have a good season you know I don't think uh, there's any other person that helped me more than the technical team because all of them they've been talking to me and helping me mm. to actually settle in and to actually be free you know and and it has actually helped me to 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 improve my game and to actually score more goals. Talking about that, you're going to be taking calls. You guys are very popular. This is your celebration. Uh, I need to keep quiet as much as I can. Uh, let the people talk. Let's go to Brakpan. Uh, is a Jovel joining us on the line? Jovel, good evening. Welcome to the show. Hello. Welcome. Yes. Yes, Rob. Yeah, the uh, champions are here. Yes. Uh, I just wanted to find out from the coach. How do they keep the players motivated? Because we know we've got, there are some players that haven't played maybe 10 or 11 games, but whenever they come into the field of play, they perform 100%. And how do they keep motivated these players on the field of play and even in their training? Thank you, Rob. Beautiful one. Thank you so much indeed, uh, Coach. Uh, I think probably one of the most asked questions, let me break it down for us, because such a big pool of players, yo, you've got to have some unhappy kids there. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably the hardest part of 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 our jobs. Uh, it's not easy, um, but you've got to give a lot of compliment to everyone associated at the club because it's a collective effort. Mm. And then you've also got to give uh, incredible compliments to them because they are good human beings. Uh, they are very very good people. I say this to them all the time. I say this, uh, of course, with with also the the understanding that I've got to push and and I've got to I've got to demand more and and ask for more. And uh, even when they feel like they've given enough, uh, is never enough. And uh, yeah, they've got to they've got to take a lot of the the credit. And 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 to be honest, is is is. It's, uh, it, they make it a lot easier, even though it's mm. it's a very very difficult task. I think tough task. Uh, I see even on on the WhatsApp voice notes, uh, there are similar questions to do with that, but we'll we'll deal with them. And nonetheless, uh, as I said, it's all one one w eight three eight nine four seven. Mkondo uh, is from Mkondo. Pat is on the line. Pat, good evening. Evening, Rob Marawa. Evening to the show of the show, and evening to the champions. Hail the king! Hail the king! Uh, Good evening, uh, Masad Dawala. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, Mina, uh, I've got nothing uh, much to say apart from uh, congratulating you guys and giving um, the flowers raised to mostly Bu Coach Rulani. I think Coach, uh, you're just a top notch uh, uh, coach uh, in, in whatever you're just uh, trying to implement with my players in my manager sometimes. And you've seen the tactics and you've seen uh, the style of play. And my question to you, Coach, is. Um, uh, are you in uh, any communication with Coach Abdullah? If so, uh, are you sharing any eligible uh, football uh, 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 you can share? Then, um, so, just just sorry, Pat, your line is, is, is bad. You said, does he keep in touch with which coach? Uh, coach Abdullah, uh, do oh. you have any uh, communication with Coach Arthur? If, uh, if so, uh, do they share any eligible football in any capacity? I think. Uh, coach Rolani is one of the best coach we have. Um, I, I've, I've often uh, uh, get uh, some uh, journals uh, saying um, uh, he didn't play football, blah, 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 but look uh, where he is now. Then uh, my other question is to uh, ask uh, Cash, 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 as young as you are, my guy, this is so brilliant, so brilliant. So is, is there any plans of you going overseas? in any time soon then people 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 <laughs> what a super player what a super player it's, it's so marvel to us my guy i, I mean you, the way you command you mean the thing uh, i've seen you um, two games with why that catch a plank away and even here at home you so marvel to us okay pet i've got to go um 
I can tell you you're a big fan of the team uh, because of time. I just need to push you. Um, Coach, let me start off with you. Cash will take your overseas move and obviously to Sipo just uh, complimenting. I'm sure he was going to come to you, Mr. Mudao, as well. Uh, but we had to cut it short there. Coach, from maybe you want to take that question. Do you chat to Atta Zwane at all? I think it spoke specifically about him. No, no. actually, I, I, I hardly talk to any of the coaches. Um, I have so so much on my plate. I've got to be speaking to the players. I've got to be uh, asking them if they've watched games. If they've, I've got to take them through their notes. I've got to, and uh, I hardly, I hardly, really, really, to be honest, have time to to actually spend, um, unfortunately, learning and discussing football with a lot of the coaches in the PSL. No, mm, unfortunately. Because I'm just trying to wonder what would you be talking about? Would, hey, yeah, yeah, no, lawyer, how will you know? <laughs> <laughs> so there's like, yeah, it's a strange one. But Cash, quickly, uh, you were just saying that you're young, what, 21 years old right now? Uh, there's opportunities to go anywhere in the world. What's what's your bigger dream? Yeah, I think every footballer is a dream to to actually play overseas. You know, especially yeah. when you come from South Africa. You know, so yeah. I think if there's an opportunity for me to go overseas, I would definitely want to take that in. But I think uh, there's no rush for every th for anything. Uh, I'm just going to wait for the right time to do that. Which team do you dream about? Which team internationally crosses your mind? Or you dreamt about when you were younger? <laughs> 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 yeah. so you, you're fine. Sundown's contract is sorted. Don't worry. If you say it now, it doesn't mean anything. Coach knows that you have ambitions. Uh, we've seen a lot of Sundown's players go. Yeah, I'm play. sure Coach yeah. wouldn't be happy with that. But for me, my dream is to play for Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. The current Chelsea or the old Chelsea? No, Chelsea. I don't care if it's the current or the last. Just Islamist. Chelsea. You want to be at Stamford I'm, Bridge? Yeah, I want That's to be it. at Stamford Bridge. Why would I be unhappy? Oh, <laughs> 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 because, because, because I don't because support he's Chelsea. A big, <laughs> he's a big fan of Man City. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, well, it's a good thing. You know, hopefully there will be a revival of Chelsea in the yeah, new season. Yeah. Uh, see, I mean, you, you heard the compliment that came your way, and I'm sure you'll take it for what it is yeah. uh, as well. And I mean, the, the, there's always a bigger dream, guys, and I might not have time for this question. Uh, let me play this. Good evening, Robert and the Mamelu Sana family. I'd like to say congratulations, Gubobo, Kaban, Dandy, the Sundowns, and also my family, Yonke. Eh, Robert, I made a scar in I want to move to Tumshish, in Pu Tumshish. Tembas one, I voice as wrong. Rob, good evening, Putuami. Uh, good evening to the shareholders. Uh, I'm not by shareholder, but for it. Shareholder, say a roller la. Show you to le. That's all. Masata one, us boni some keys at Kevin. Yo 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 yo. Masata one, masata one. I want to love over to put Robert, but since the slalagam nand every weekend, slalagam nand. That's not in King Galab. Ne, Lalagam Nandi, Sib Nandi, oh, what a jig of sundowns, Gumnian. I don't want to lie. Guys, um, uh, Sabong, Sabong, I'm afraid. You guys are doing a good job, Sabong, again, for his talk. So the city is belonging to the stock. Say, I won't have a foot too. Sons of men's are most of a cold before it is. I say, I won't have my day. Hey, Nabong isn't teen and as Robert and as, but guys. I have a free time. Send us a bit of land. Come land in Kassan Town. My only happiness was in Kassan Town. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I have never listened for a minute and two seconds. Somebody just saying, Come land. <laughs> you know, you guys make them sleep peacefully. But it shows you again the power that you have as a football player and as a club, doesn't it? When you hear a guy just opening his heart out like that. Mm -hmm. I think about uh, Lobo Nagatabi is a good one too, also. Yeah. Because I think also it doesn't just happen. Uh, it, it, it boils down to the football that we play. I think we play such a good football. Yeah. So I think uh, most of the fans are probably going to like it. Oh, there's so many voice notes, guys. It's crazy. Marawa Sports Worldwide Live. In three, two, one. On 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM. And Soweto Live. Hashtag MSW.
Will 28 Rand fix your car wipers or get your car towed when you need it? Yes, from 28 Rand per day, you can get comprehensive cover from My Way. Call us today for a quote on 0860 64 64 64. My Way is a licensed non-life insurer and FSP. Premiums are risk profile dependent and T's and C's apply. What do you consider amazing? At Lexus, we believe it's bringing the future a little bit closer to today. That's why the next generation Lexus NX has the Lexus Safety System Plus that protects people inside and out. A driver-focused cockpit with a 14-inch touchscreen. And, hey Lexus, a virtual assistant that reacts intuitively to you. The next generation Lexus NX. Next is now. Lexus. Experience amazing. With easy-to-connect MWeb LTE SIM and router deals, you can scroll, lull, stream, and meme, even when the power is out. From only $3.99 per month, you'll not only get better internet, but a free UPS too, so everyone at home can stay connected without any expensive data worries. Don't miss out. Get your free UPS today with MWeb LTE. Visit mweb.co.za or call 87 5000 to find out more. T's and C's apply. I am a Nidla Gonke snitchist, but some snacks I've tried have made me break my scale. Then I tried to do the right thing, and I tried a different snack, but it was like eating paper, you know? And in that moment, I became a Kipa Gonke snackist. Can you believe it? What is a Nidla Gonke snackist like me to do, eh? Mmm, suffer not, Mzansi Snackist. Introducing new Tastic Air Popped Rice Chips. The perfect snack for all Mzansi Snackists. Enjoy a whole lot of good with a whole lot of taste. The good you need with the taste you want. Tastic. Perfect. Every time. All set to save more when you shop in-store? Let's go. Make a U-turn on the way you pay. Download the Payflex app to navigate an endless world of shopping. Then... Continue straight to your favorite store. In four payments over six weeks, you will have arrived at your destination. Shop now and pay later at 0% interest. Payflex, this is shopping. Deal or No Deal is more than just a game show that everyone talks about. It's a game show that transforms the lives of everyday South Africans. To date, we celebrate more than 1 million rand worth of cash prizes that Deal or No Deal has helped to change lives. You too could win up to 250,000 rand in cash with me, Gatayako. Simply SMS the word PLAY to 43066. Standard SMS rates apply. Catch Deal or No Deal on SABC1 at 7.30pm and on SABC3 at 5.30pm every weekday. Deal or No Deal is sponsored by Lotto Star. Lotto Star is licensed by the Impomalanga Economic Regulator. No under 18s. National Responsible Gambling Program. 0800 006 008. T's and C's apply. All games are fixed on betting events. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. Kanye Somayo uh, joins us as well as we congratulate him for a wonderful, wonderful season. I see you as a top goal scorer jointly. I see you in Bafana Bafana. I see you being wanted by all sorts of clubs. Hey, I see you rising more than anything. <laughs> It is, no, it is, it's putting in the hard work each and every day, bro, you know. And uh, I've said this before to my to my family that this season I would, would like to compete for individual honours, which is I did. So the decision to go to Cape Town City, how would you describe it? I, I'd describe it as a life-changing uh, opportunity, you know. You know, two clubs were emphasising that I was not ready, I was still young at that age. And do you still remember those clubs that said you were too young? It was uh, Amazulu, uh, Keza Cheese. And how old were you then? I was 22. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Even in Rob, uh, you are talking to my favorite coach there. Rob, I must tell you a funny story. I postponed a Valentine's date to go listen to that man speak in 2019 uh, because I regard him highly. Uh, he's amongst the top 10 coaches uh, globally who have transformed their teams for me. He's amongst the likes of uh, Luciano Spalletti, Roberto Di Zerbi, uh, Pep Guardiola, Puzo Misimani because of the relentless work that he has put in to get a good team to become great. It requires a lot of work, Rob, and coach has done that with so much... Uh, uh, precision and it will be interesting to find out from coach Rulani why he decided to choose uh, uh, his players to read Relentless by Tim Grover because he's regarded as the master of mental toughness and that could have been say, it was evident in that uh, 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 long run of unbeaten uh, 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 run by Momelody Sundowns. Wishing you all the best for coach at uh, the boy. Yeah, unbeaten. That's what Momelody Sundowns decided to do 15 wins in a row 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, we need to celebrate as a record. Because they've been about records. When you go to the goalkeeping department, Ronwin Williams himself, 18 clean sheets. That's a man who goes to bed knowing that every night there's new linen. <laughs> <laughs> Ronan clean Williams. Sheets. Clean sheets. <laughs> I'll dial in these. Six league titles in succession. All they can do is say, beat that. Lots of calls, lots of voice notes. Let's try and see what we can squeeze in this last 12 minutes of the show. I mean, Kulisa, from your side, the one thing about where you are asked to invert instead of overlapping, it takes a coach to say, Vit, let's sit down. Let's talk strategy. Let's talk technique. And you're used to doing one thing, and then he says, okay, let's talk me through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as Kesha said, uh, he's the best coach ever, you know. Um, I think every season since I came to, to Sundowns, you want to come with new stuff, new, new, new information, you know. So, obviously, I, as a player, I need to adjust to whatever he's telling me to do because I also, I also want to help the team, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, he decided one day we, we I think we would. We were in preseason, and he said, "I want to, to, I want you to invert. No, don't go there by, by, by the line." So that's when he, he said, "I should, I should believe in myself, and I can do this." And then I started playing as an inverter, full back, you know. So yeah. But you find it second nature now. It's, it's. A, I know sometimes it's difficult. The temptation is there. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. at first it was, it was difficult. Yeah. I couldn't know. What what's happening with me? Where should I go? But uh, he showed me clips because he do send me clips. Yeah. Like every player that plays for Sundowns, he knows. Yeah, clips, clips, clips that you need to. to <laughs> yeah, oh, this guy doesn't. He does. Sleep. <laughs> ah. And I'm sure you didn't understand the word invert, ne? Yeah, you you are probably thinking that it's giving you something to help something you with load shedding. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So it, it was something where I like I I, I just <laughs> I just did for me, you know, and uh, knowing the person he is, yeah. what he wants to us to do as players when we we inside the field to play. Uh, I said, nah, I need to to, to try and watch. Um, Zinchenko, because yes. he was the the player who was doing the most in that yeah, yeah. that position. So I started watching Zinchenko, and then like I like I, I, I can do this. So was it the Zinchenko at Man City or the Zinchenko at Arsenal? At City. At City. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because, because yeah, there City. has been a slight adjustment, I think, to his role by Oteta, isn't it, Coach? Um, actually. A little bit, but but at City the the Zivchenko was a Zivchenko to invert f to stop counter attacks. Right. Uh, and the Zivchenko of Arsenal is to actually keep the stove hot. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a term we use a lot, but he's very good at uh, he's a very good at. At, at at regaining the second phase and and creating chances actually more than he was at City to be honest. So do you think that the the rise of Odegaard and getting those opportunities w would have been largely due to him and and that kind of role that he plays? I think so, and uh, I think um, I think I think when three maybe three months ago, uh, I and 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 the players know that I praise what I see. Yeah. Uh, Arsenal uh, disabled at Brighton and Arsenal for me three months ago were probably the best team in the league but but the the best team at pressing the opposition box so 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 well mm. uh, and one of the big reasons for that was this role that Zivchenko plays because Zivchenko is a, has the ability to release the eights Mm -hmm. And 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 maybe they play a little bit a little bit closer or the guard and 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 many of the offensive players uh, Martinelli comes off and 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 gets into that space but but a very good side and 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 probably a team that will will improve and get better and better and better. 
Let me go to Pine Town. Bongani is on the line. Bongani, good evening. Welcome to the show. Good evening, my dear. Good evening, my dear. Hi, again, long. I'm Tom Dalla. I'm Lucia. She's a scatte. I got a girl. I'm being a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit no, uh, the guys, I'm a case of support, but I, Konagele, the guys are reminding me of the Rodman Cup. Shushan and Piano. You know, when uh, they are both playing Chiefs and and, and, and Quetzal, then you choose to watch them instead of your own team. That must tell you something. The likes of Mbule, I'm calling him Futumba. Because I'm over and above being a case of Chiefs support, I'm just, I'm just a football lover. So, hard luck to the guys. Congratulations for everything they're doing for South African football. Beautiful. Thank you so much indeed. They're hearing you loud and clear. They'll respond in a second. Let me go to the Val. Louis, good evening. Say, how are you? I am surrounded by champions, man. How are you? You have got champions there, and there is three of my favorites there, but I, I've got no way to explain how I'm feeling, especially about uh, them winning the PSL, the DSTV Premiership. Then I'm happy. Sipombule is actually doing magic, magic, you know. And then uh, the other thing that I needed to understand, uh, on the Cap Champions League, I was a bit disappointed, but I know it's football. I can't hang out my players for failing. But now, I seem to and I seem to to be confused because it looks like on, on our beloved coach, Mr. Rulani, it seems like maybe he's trying to do away with the team that was uh, actually set up by Pisa because guys... The regulars of last season or two seasons before, they are slowly being phased out of the progress of the team. Like Serino is on the bench, then Charlie is the second one to leave the team. We don't actually understand what's happening. At least if we can be enlightened on that, because I know it's going to be. You can't say clearly that no, I don't like when was over, but it, I feel like most of our good players are being phased out slowly, bit by bit. Mm. Understand. I hear you. Thank you so much indeed for the question. Um, it's a case of a, how then do you describe good? At what stage are they good? Should they not be phased out because you need to get better? Um, maybe before you answer, coach, maybe the reception that a 21 year old Keisha Smailula gets at Sundowns uh, has to face a gift motupa, for example, and they know that you're bringing competition to the entire team. How does it work and how did you find it? Because your talent denies somebody else a talent. It happens world over in football. For me, I think, uh, uh, for me, I think uh, 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 it's actually the coach, they look at how you train. Yeah. You know, if you train well, you'll definitely play. So, and also if you play well in the game, when they give you a chance, you'll definitely get another opportunity to, to play. So mm. I don't think at our team they play you because of your face, because of what you've done 10 years ago, five years ago, whenever. So for me, I, I think it also comes with you, uh, with your hard work, mm. your dedication and your immunity. Because before we can actually be a soccer players, we are actually human beings. So mm. sometimes we help each other if you're not getting a chance. Mm. What can you improve on? What can you do to get better, you know? And mm. also, even when I'm playing, the guys come and help me to actually improve my game so that the team wins. The most important thing, it's it's playing for the batch and playing for the team yeah. to win. It's not basically about yourself, you know? Yeah. What's the craziest thing about Coach Rolani? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> for, me, for me, I think it's... It's the details that he gives us, yeah. each and every single player. Like, you know what you have to do in the game, what to expect. You are always prepared. I don't remember a game where I'm not prepared. I don't know how the center back is playing or what is his weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So, I think I think uh, the details that he gives us it's something else. It's out of this world. How we prepare for the game. Sometimes you mm -hmm. know it's it's crazy. He would also come and, t on, and tell me and say, today I want you to do this. And I'm like, coach, I'm too short. There's no way that yeah. you can tell Ronza to come and play the ball to me on my chest. And he's like, no, I want you to do this. Yeah. And it's something that works for us because that's what he sees that the opponent cannot deal with the one-on-one. With the -on -one. Yeah. Well, I mean, if he can get silver scoring with his head at City, 
Anything is possible. Yeah. Let, 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 me, <laughs> let me ask the same question. I want to keep the consistency of the question. Mr. Mudau, what's the craziest thing about your coach? <laughs> I think, I think uh, Coach Rulan is so obsessed with, with the game, yeah. you know. And uh, he, invest, um, he, he invests so much on the game and he loves the, the, the game. Yeah. So I think, I think the craziest thing is, is the game, you know. He just loves the game. So his oxygen is the game. Yeah, because he sacrifices a lot, a lot yeah. of things. Because like I was saying, anybody who's, who's on Instagram right now, I'm not, I'm not meaning to make him shy, uh, but his last post that he had in the early hours of this morning, watch that, listen to that, and you get a sense of what this man is all about. Very quickly, Sipa, from your side, you've been with this man now. <laughs> what, what's the crazy in him? Brother, as you just said now, you watch that video on Instagram, ne? Yeah. There's weight there. Yes. I think maybe every week there's a new win that you're going to hear. <laughs> Before the season started, they were telling us about the build-up with an S, the what, what? Okay. The <laughs> with an S. Oh, now imagine. you're getting confused now, the S, what? <laughs> and when he definitely shows you, you can see, oh, this actually works. Yes. Yeah, like now he said, now keep the stove out. You think about your stove you want to cook, but now it's not that stove. <laughs> 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 so what's, keep, what's, what's keeping the stove hot? Oh, Tell keeping us. the stove off, it's like maybe when you're attacking, yeah. and maybe our rest defense, rest defense is proper. Oh. You see the other way again, rest ah, defense. Rest defense. Uh. <laughs> so the terminology is there. I was listening yeah. to Cassius just now. I didn't want to say anything because <laughs> I was going to mess him up in terms of his mind. But it, it, you know what? It is the most beautiful thing to observe. Just how technically and from the terminology perspective, you as players don't just go there and kick a football, but you understand exactly what football means. Hi, Robbie. Yeah, Kerry, I was just a much double congratulation. Even the coach, Kerry Coach Mamela. Yeah, Kerry, he's a proud of you. Whatever you've done for our football, not only said that was the best. I mean, 20 something something unbeaten. Won the, the league with uh, hands down. 16, 40 points gap. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So I wish one day we coach you have a fun of a fun of my cause I do it when I go for now a fun and no come to all of it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. And I also wish we win a coach of the season. And uh, yeah, to the youngster boy, Kesha Sikiri, bigger boy. Yeah, it's only the beginning. You need to work hard and focus and be down to earth. Coach. You know, when I, I knew you while, while you were still a young boy, two years old, I guess, or even more before you were born, while you were still an egg. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's okay. All I can say, for, go and I get a, like father, like son. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, my gents, Vitaly, thank you so much indeed. Bringing the humor right at the end of the show. I wish I had more time to give every one of you an opportunity to say thank you but good luck for the individual awards uh, undoubtedly for me coach of the season sitting right in front of me here uh, player of the season is probably yeah okay let's leave it there but you know what you guys have done well give yourselves a big round of applause thank you so much man. Thank, you. thank you big rob thanks guys thank you to your listeners thank you 94.7 ah. thank you please come back soon Marawa Sports Worldwide Live. In three, two, one. On 947.